It's time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. So 2 Chainz is reopening his Atlanta restaurants for sit-down service. So he said he does have a plan to keep everyone safe. His Escobar restaurant and Tapas are serving dining meals, and that's going to be starting Monday, according to his business partner and co-owner Snoop Dillard. He said they're making ta- public safety a top priority. Now, first they were doing only takeout orders because of coronavirus. They said sales have been down 95% during the shutdown. The restaurant did furlough around 80% of their staff. So now with dine-in service coming back, they're going to bring back 65% of the staff. And the hope is to have everybody back at work eventually. So both I'm sure that those restaurants. Mm-hmm. No, I said, I'm sure those restaurants can have a, a, a certain amount of people in them, right? Because, I mean, if you're following social distancing laws, you can't be in more than groups of 10, right? Are, are they changing yeah, it they, in Atlanta? I don't, well, they said I don't they're know. Gonna, They'll have uh, staff will have their temperatures checked when they clock in. There's mandatory gloves for all employees, masks for the cooks, and single-use paper menus. Any staff member showing symptoms will be asked to go home and quarantine for 14 days. They're also bringing back hookahs, and those hookahs will be cleaned and sanitized. Hell no. <laughs> Ain't no way in hell I'm smoking hookah at a time like this. People like to smoke hookah and don't change the goddamn filter. By the way, that's why coronavirus spread in New York so crazy because a couple weeks before they did that quarantine, Shut up, people were outside smoking hookah in the heights and they were passing them back and forth no. and not changing the goddamn filter. That yes, is they not, were. No, it's, yes, that's not the were. reason, man. I've that is not it. the reason it's spread like that. You see, you ain't never been uptown like that. I see it on Instagram. I was even, I was, shut, DMing, I was DMing some of my folks. I asked Mikhail if I'm lying. I, I hit Mikhail. I said, damn, y'all supposed to be quarantining and you in the height smoking hookah and you and that girl keep passing that filter back and forth. Y'all ain't changed the filter not one time. Hook boy. Man, Atlanta about to be crazy with Corona if that's what they doing. All right. Now, The Dream is launching an OnlyFans and that account is going to help promote his new album, Sex Part 4. So he says, shout out OnlyFans and all the beautiful ladies involved. We launched a page dedicated to the baby making album of the year. Follow to view this content for free. And then he posted the link. So, you know, y'all was going in, not you guys, but people were going in on women who have OnlyFans pages. So I guess you guys should be okay with it now, right? That the dream is launching an OnlyFans page to promote. Because again... I, I, I... I got I to gotta see what he's doing on there first. If he should, oh, if he get, if he get on if he get on there topless and show some, then we got to get on the dreams ass. Oh my goodness! Well, you got to oh. go take a look at it. But he's not going to be in the videos himself. And 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 I guarantee you that he said the baby making album of the year. So I bet you all his videos are going to be very sexually themed to cater right. to that only fan crowd. I'm sure it's going to be very sexy. So you can follow the dream on OnlyFans. All right. Juice World has put out, well, they've put out a single, even though he's passed away. The song is called Righteous. You know, when he passed, he had over 2,000 songs. So there's going to certainly be more unreleased material that's coming out sometime in the near future. Now, Music Today also, Trouble has put out his Thug Love album. So shout out to Trouble. Mm-hmm. He actually mentions uh, Gigi McGuire and Lip Service on the album also. So he's got a lot of features on there. Two Changes on there. Boosie, Quavo, Jeezy, City Girls, um, Scales. Let's see. He got a lot of guest appearances. Jacquees is on the album. So make sure y'all check that out. Also, K-Camp put out his Kiss 5 album today. It's a 15-song project. And he has Wale, Ari Lennox, Black, Tink is on the album. Uh, Fabo, Jacquees. Uh, Jeremiah is on there. Young Boy Mm -hmm. NBA also put out his album, 38 Baby 2, this project. Obviously a sequel to his 38 Baby from 2016. And he is always putting out music because he just put out Still Flex and Still Stepping, I feel like, just a couple months ago. I guess that was uh, back in February, if I'm not mistaken. So not a ton of guest appearances on his. The Baby's on there. And then he also has a guest appearance from his mom. So should be interesting to listen to. And Fabio Foreign has put out 800 BC. He okay. put out an eight track project and that stands for Before Corona. All right. Also, Jack Boy has a new self-titled project out today. There's a lot of new music today. Jack Boy, who was Kodak Black's artist, he signed to Sniper Gang. He put out a self-titled project also that features our wife and Lucci. Kodak Black is on there. Uh, Casanova, Black Youngster. So make sure you guys uh, check that out. Okay, you know, you know who I'm looking forward to hearing? I'm looking forward to hearing um, Rhett One from TDE. I saw Top Dog post something yes. yesterday. It was, a, it was a board, and he had a bunch of different celebrities' names on it. That, that, let me tell you something. That goddamn um, 
That red one, not red one. Reason, reason. Red, that I'm reason. Like, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm, say I'm, I'm thinking is... a red one. I know. I'm thinking because yeah, they names look similar. <laughs> reason. That mm-hmm. goddamn reason okay. is dope. Drop one of clues bombs for reason. Reason is nice. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to hearing what reason puts out. Uh, and I don't know. I, if it's, I don't know what he's putting out. Put out. Put out new music. TDE's definitely been putting things out. You know, during this time. So yes, reason. Okay. All right, yeah, so I I right that. now, though, we have a song to play for you guys. It's Travis Scott and Kid Cudi. They put out a new song. It came out at midnight. They teased it on Fortnite because, you know, they're doing that in-game concert series called Astronomical, and that is also continuing through the weekend until the – well, actually, until tomorrow. And so here is a song that Travis Scott and Kid Cudi put out. It came out at midnight, and that song is called The Scots. 